Welcome back to another fun-filled adventure of the old fat guy riding around in the cool truck. A few days ago, we picked up some pelletized lime in some uh, buckwheat seed, 40 pounds of lime and I think seven pounds of, seven and a half pounds of buckwheat seed and seeded this strip here in front of the the house between the old garden spot and in the highway it's an area that as we've discussed in the past it's got a lot of clay in it and it's where they ran the water line when they ran the city water on further out towards quail run and uh, they turned up a bunch of clay and it's never grown grass and so I have instituted the buckwheat no-till test. That's what we're gonna call it, it's my test. And here's the thing, I'm not gonna try to convince anybody else of something that I've not tried out. And uh, we've been watching a lot of videos and reading quite a bit on the buckwheat no-till system, or the ultimate no-till system because tilling the ground and plowing and cultivating and all that all that old school that old thought method that they've used in farming for generations we've found that that actually is detrimental to the soil and you know you've seen where a field's been freshly plowed and you know then it dries out up on the top and then you got a big windstorm and you see the dust blowing across it. Good grief, drive 63 down through Arkansas when they got all those fields down there, uh, when they, you know, in between plantings. But, uh, or erosion from, from rain. And this area out here in front of the house, even though, you know, it's mostly clay, it's been horrible about that. As a matter of fact, the state, MoDOT, we've got that, that curve sign out there just right at the end of the property and mow dot so they don't have to mow around them they'll spray it's like a, a salt brine around the bases of them to kill the grass so the grass doesn't grow up tall and in doing so they had the ditch dead and it eroded out to where you know you could dang near lose your car down inside of it a few years ago, we took the tractor down there and moved some dirt around and, and scraped it all up and filled it back in. And now I've got it filled in with gravel and uh, trying to keep that from eroding out. The problem is, is I've never been able to get grass to grow around the sign or uh, along the frontage where the clay and the salt brine's been sprayed. And so anyhow, I'm going to make a sign that says owner, landowner maintained or something like that and try to get MoDOT to stop spraying and then use this, this buckwheat ultimate no-till method and see if I can't get some grass to grow in this area. This morning we're headed back up to W&W trailer where they've got the three-point sprayer and the Packer Max Culture Packer and uh, Keith and his crew, they're gonna help me try to combine the two units into one. But I've got a couple stops to make before I head up there. Uh, as you can, if you, as you've already figured out, one of them's going to be at Hirsch Farm and Feed Store. And uh, you know, I don't even really have anything to buy today. There's not really anything that I, that I can think of that I need. But I'm going to go in there and buy something anyhow. Spend, you know, five or ten dollars or less. And, uh, you know, just to show my support for uh, homegrown local business and, and give everybody a hard time. Hirsch has, like many companies, Hirsch has got an employee of the month uh, program. And uh, I believe the way that they pick their employee of the month is it's employee submitted. They've got a box in the break room. And if one employee sees another employee doing something over and above, 
they uh, they can submit that employee as employee of the month. Riley Graham, who I'm not even sure who he is, uh, is the employee of the month this month. And one of the cool things is, is the employee of the month gets upfront parking spot uh, right up here in front of the store, right next to the entrance where the employees enter and exit the store. But uh, you know, here's the thing: if you're employee of the month and and you get here after seven o'clock, there's a pretty good chance I'm going to be parked in your parking spot. People watching today, <laughs> lady up here scratching all of her Missouri lottery tickets. must be trying to either support the schools or get rich quick. Well, there's no forecast to rain, but sure looks and feels like it could. So I think I'll get my car washed. got our stops made this morning went by Hirsch picked up I think it was four and a half pounds of uh, buckwheat seed ran down to gas station got myself a diet Mountain Dew 
I don't know about you, but I gotta have my carbonated caffeine in the morning. Three cups of coffee this morning, and I still just ain't feeling the day yet, you know? Try some carbonated caffeine, see if that'll get me rolling. Gonna run, and I also went through the car wash. I always love going through that car wash. You know, it's not a bad deal. It doesn't really do a great job either, but it does a good job on your wheel or on your tires. But uh, you know, for cost of one and a portion of another car wash, you can buy a monthly subscription. Go through there as many times as you want. There's been times I've come back from the Rover property and I am covered in mud. There were times I had the pickup bed was full of blood too. <laughs> and uh, we'd just run right down through the car wash and if it wasn't clean enough, I'd circle back around and go through again. And I think we've, Jacob and I went through there three times one day. As you can see, the clouds back here, it looks like it might rain. I don't know if we got rain in the forecast today or not, but it don't matter when it comes to getting the Toyota Tundra white truck of death wash because, like I said, I pay a, a monthly fee once a month, and I can go through it as many times as I want. But anyhow, since we've had a couple days of a light drizzle, ground's nice and, and wet, picked up that buckwheat seed and uh, I'm going to take it back to the house. There's a couple spots I didn't get the seed as thick as I wanted and uh, I'll just do some hand spreading, scatter it around, put it out. And then I'll head on up to the trailer shop and go see Keith and see if we've made any progress yet. This is me. Look out, cause here I come. 